the weather ebbs and flows, it changes. And in these changes, we're looking at the strength of the El Nino and how it affected the weather within North America. And the good news that it was bringing to Texas, but that that good news was strong and it was short term. And it wasn't just dependency on rainfall, but how well you could store and utilize the rainfall that you could get because it wasn't going to last an entire season. Scientists are predicting for it to last until May of next year, which means another month of good rainfall. And a good potential that if it ends in May, you might get some more rainfall in the summertime. But if the El Nino continues, expect a season much like this year. A lot of rain at the beginning, a lot of dryness at the end. It's 90% chance of it happening through winter, 85% chance of it going in through May. So there's a good chance that it will last this long. Yeah, but when I start talking about summertime to some of these guys, they don't see, they, I've heard them talk about as low as 25% chance. That's true. Yeah. In fact, some of them even have been telling us, well, remember 98, how big that was? And literally three months after the El Nino ended, a La Nina started. The volcano, Bartabunga, I finally got to say it one more time. With its eruption and the gas and, and uh, gas that it emitted, it is changing the wind flow and the current way that weather is functioning in North America and even more importantly in Europe and Asia. And that's leading to problems in eastern, in west, yes, in eastern China and their cattle productivity. South America is having relatively good cattle productivity for areas that are in southern Brazil and parts of Argentina. But northern Brazil and further north into South America during this El Nino, it's going to be bad times for both cattle and their, and their agriculture. Meanwhile, for winter, cooler for Texas, kills off the insects, warmer for the Midwest, lower energy prices. Yep. So as was said before, we're with Browning Media. Uh, there's our information if you're interested in a subscription to our World Climate Bulletin. And we thank you so much for your time and welcome any questions. Thank you.